Researchers in Melbourne have made a crucial step forward in the production of a so-called everlasting battery. The problem has been to find a way to integrate the technology into existing electronic products like laptops, iPods or even pacemakers. But now scientists have managed to measure how much power can be generated by tiny piezoelectric films which convert mechanical pressure into electricity. Dr. Madhu Bhaskaran from RMIT University in Melbourne is a leader of the research. She explains how it works. Um, piezoelectrics are essentially materials which have been around for a long time and this is a phenomenon which was discovered in the 1880s and essentially they are materials which can convert mechanical energy or mechanical pressure to electrical energy. And while people have actually studied bulk materials or blocks of materials quite thoroughly, piezoelectric thin films are something which haven't been that thoroughly investigated. And so what our finding is, is essentially quantifying the amount of energy which can actually be generated from these thin films or coatings. And you found that there is or potentially enough energy created to be able to power things like uh, iPods or laptops and other electronic portable devices? Yes, essentially any electronic portable device which uses a battery is something which we will be looking at as a potential application. And currently the power levels which we're able to generate is around 10 times lesser than what's required. So that's the next step. So as, as essentially amplifying the power by 10 times so that we can essentially create an everlasting battery or replace existing batteries. Mm. What's the time scale for that, do you think? It's, uh, it's much easier than other, like people have also studied nanowires and nano rods of piezoelectrics, but this being thin films, it makes it much easier to take it to the existing technology because existing technology again uses thin films in varied forms. So if we're actually able to amplify the power which we think will take around a couple of years or three years, it should be fairly quick after that to commercialize it. And what are the potential applications of this research, of this uh, technology? The initial aim for this study was actually to harness our physiological processes from our body. So essentially say something like blood pressure. So harnessing blood pressure and allowing that to power implantable devices or biomedical devices like pacemakers. But there seems to also be a market in electronic products such as cell phones or iPads or iPhones. And that's also something which where you can see and use for this technology. Mario Baskaran, thank you. Thank you so much.